Hello and welcome back to the Old School Iron Man. Last episode we finished our first major goal on the account by finishing Recipe for Disaster and picking up the Barrow's Gloves. At this point our account feels a little bit lost and it's time to set our sights on another new big goal. And that goal is the Mauritania Hard Diary. This diary is so good as it makes Barrow's Brothers much much more worth it as you get double runes and you have a quick teleport there. So it's very important for us to get the hat before we start Barrows and continue on with the game. There are two tasks that we don't have the skill requirements for. The first is killing a cave horror, which requires 58 Slayer. And that's something we want to do anyway, because we get the black mask, which then becomes the Slayer Helm, which makes Slayer as good as it is. And the second is activating piety in the nature grotto, which requires 70 prayer. And getting 70 prayer is going to be a long time. So don't expect it in this episode as this is going to be a multiple episode grind as we work towards those Mauritania hard diaries. Had a little bit of Animite AFK time and decided to get our range up. We're going to need 61 range. Uh, I left here earlier last time only at 50, but we need 61 in order to use a rune crossbow. And with 61 with a uh, rune crossbow, we can use broad bolts, which have double the range strength of our current bone bolts. Uh, they go up to plus 100 and these are only plus 49. So... Uh, very good there, uh, but to actually get broad bolts, we're gonna have to go do Slayer. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to go do some more material skips and Konar tasks and get our Slayer up to 58 for uh, the Black Mask and the Cave Horror Kill for the Diary. Hey, 61 range. Let's go. Actually, let's just finish. Let's kill this crab and then we'll do a birdhouse run and a farm run and then we can uh, start our Slayer. There is level 80 farming. Uh, we're getting really close to the point where we can uh, do those high level contracts. This is going to be our Slayer setup for now. I didn't bother putting on the rune instead of graceful, just because we're going to be killing mostly low level things, so we're not going to be taking a lot of damage. And if it gets bad, I can put on rune. We're like four kills into this hill giant task and we get a long bone. RNG, too good. And while we're at it, we're going to pick up Slayer tasks from all the Masters to get the Diary task done. So we got 19 Vampire Fanaka. For our 40th task, we're going to get an assignment from Kelder here. Um, she has some pretty bad ones. Holy crap, 110 Hellhounds. You know, I am going to do this task because it's really good motivation. Uh, but we need to get Proselyte first. And to actually get that task done, we need to do the Slug Menace quest, which means we need to do the Wanted quest. I didn't even have a recruitment drive done, so uh, I had to do that first. Wanted quest done. 5,000 Slayer experience, which is actually kind of nice. And we get access to the White Knight's armor, which we'll need for some diaries later. This Sulphur Lizard is actually kind of nice, because when we get a Lizard Slayer task, you normally need to go to the desert. But if we get a Lizard task now, I can just go kill Sulphur Lizards at M Mount Kurulum. And there is the Slug Menace quest, and we got our promotion to Proselyte. Uh, which is very nice. Oh, we actually also got a runecrafting level. Didn't expect that. And a crafting level. We're going to buy our proselyte helm, a proselyte, proselyte legs, and a proselyte chest. And if we equip these three items, we have a prayer bonus of 18 now, uh, meaning our prayer is going to last a lot longer. Even with only 21 points, protect melee lasts two whole minutes. And if I didn't have that on, it would only last 57 seconds. So it's basically doubling our effective prayer points. We're just going to do some nice AFK Slayer. We get a whole four minutes out of our prayer points. Uh, and each dose and each one of these potions will be more than 48 points. So this is over an hour worth of prey pots in my inventory. So I think we'll be fine. We have 111 to kill. So we're going to gain like 12,000 experience. Uh, and hopefully we pick up a hard clue. 45 Slayer. And task over, 40 tasks in a row. We gained 50 points for that one. Hey, speak of the devils, we got a lizard task. And to kill these sulfur lizards to make sure we don't get like electrocuted, we have to wear these uh, boots of stone in here so that we don't get the boost of our climbing boots. Apart from that, just poke away and get some XP. Hey, 47 Slayer as the task ends. I can't wait to be done with these stupid low-level tasks. 149 Fire Giants in the Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. That's, um, that's in Tree Gnome Stronghold, the Neve's Cave, I think is what it's called. At least colloquial, so let's go do that. It's our 50th task, too, so we should get a lot of points. 
I'm gonna try to do this without prayer, but if it gets really bad, we'll start uh flicking on some prayers. Ask done. We killed 149 fire giants, gained 16.5k XP. It's actually pretty good. It took me about an hour and a half to do this task, but um, I was very AFK. Like, there's a lot of times where, like, I didn't reset the aggro or anything. Uh, but it's our 50th task, and we, uh, with it being our 50th task, we got 270 points. We now have 479 Sire points. That's actually really nice. And we also picked up, what is that, six of these in Soul Giant Head. This is a prayer training method on Old School where you can, uh, summon a monster and then it gives prayer experience when you kill that monster so each one of these is basically 600 experience ish so that's 4k prayer banked no freaking way i was doing uh whatchamacallit i was doing this cave slime task because it was our tutorial task and we got a dragon spear i'm looking up this drop right no I am not wearing a Ring of Wealth. That is one in 174,763. What the fuck? Ooh, another Dagonal Fast. This is a good one. I really like this. 51 Slayer. These levels are pretty damn slow. Uh, we picked up a Brimstone Key and a Medium Clue Scroll. So when this task is over, we'll try to complete this. Clue, and hopefully we get Ranger Boots task over. Only got 90 points for that one because it's 60th, but hey, we're up to 500 points. Um, we also picked up two Brimstone Keys. I'm going to stock these up until 58 Slayer, and then once we hit 58, I'm going to open them all at once and see what we get. But let's go try this Medium Clue. Pretty easy casket, and oh, we got a Heraldic Helm. I think that's uh, actually needed for a specific clue. Or is that Rune? No, that's Rune that we need. Oh my god, we got the exact same Konar task. What is this? This is our seventh time coming to Konar, and I have had a Dagonoth task on five of them. There's level 80 strength. Ooh, yeah. Uh, and that also gave us combat level of 90, which is really cool. We That doesn't actually give us anything, but again, it's just cool to have. Once we hit 100, we unlock Duradel as a Slayer Master, and he's going to be what we want to use as our main Slayer Master, so uh, we'll definitely be focusing up our combat levels, especially when we get up to 70 prayer. That's like 22 prayer levels, so that's three uh, combat levels right there, and then we'll get uh, 93 to 100 based on our melees going up, and our HP as well. Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Another Dagonoth task. Another task done. This one got a 16k XP. Uh, let's go back to some Turiel skipping. No freaking way! That's actually insane. That was like three kills later. What is the drop rate of these to have? Okay, it's pretty common from Sour Hogs. They, it's a 1 in 550 for each of them. So, um, not there. This is actually a good like way to get your first Dragonstone. So we'll uh, put this together and we'll uh, go get a Dragonstone. Let's open the crystal chest. We got our first dragonstone and a hundred coal. Hundred coal is actually a pretty nice drop, though. I was hoping to get an extra tooth half. That would have been perfect. I've been racking my brain for quite a little bit on what to get with this dragonstone. I could save it and get up to 80 crafting to be able to make an amulet of glory, but most of the time the strength amulet is going to be better because the strength amulet provides a higher max hit. And I'm mostly killing low defense monsters at this point. The second option is to make a glory and then put it in the house for easy teleports to Draenor, Karamja, Edgeville, and Shanty Pass, which are all very annoying places to get to, especially Draenor Village, because you got to go to Lumbridge and then run. But I don't think it provides enough value for us at this very moment. So I'm going to go ahead and make the Ring of Wealth. The reason why I want to have the Ring of Wealth is because... It picks up coin drops off the ground, and when I'm killing all these low-level monsters, like the coin drops that I don't pick up can add up to a lot over time. It improves our chances of getting crystal keys from tooth halves and loop halves for monsters, like for example the sour hogs that we just killed. Without a ring of wealth on, it's a one in five sixty drop rate. 
and with a Ring of Wealth on, it's 1 in 467. So it should mean that I get my second and third Dragonstone more quickly. Uh, but let's go charge this at the Fountain of Heroes. Oh, that's interesting. So you can only charge it at the Fountain of Rune and not at the Fountain of Heroes. Didn't know that, but as an uncharged Ring of Wealth, it still provides all the benefits. We just don't have the teleports. Hey, 55 Slayer from a Goblin. Three levels to go. I swear to God, if we get another Diagonal task here... Okay, it's Cow Fights. And Tasta, 90 tasks, 90 points. One more Turial round to go till we get a ton of points. Okay, that's my second Dragon Spear. What the hell? At least I had a Ring of Wealth on this time, so it makes it considerably more common, but it's still a 1 in 21k drop. Oh, this game. 81 strength. I think we get another max hit at 82, I think. Depends on how high our potion boosts us up, but that's 1,600 total. Um, wow, we're, we kind of grinded through 1,500 to 1,600 pretty quickly. On to 1,700. 56 layer. Got this hard clue. Again, we'll try to complete it after uh, the task is over, but I'm not going to go out of my way unless the requirement's pretty easy. Old School has a cool thing where the task multiplier goes up even past 50 tasks. So at 100 tasks, we gain 450 instead of 270 if this was RS3. And then the same thing will happen at 250 tasks and 500 tasks. And I think at 500 tasks, you can get like 1,000 Slayer points. Pretty insane. Uh, but we're up to 1,200 points. So we can pretty much buy everything we want to. Uh, we just need to finish off 58 Slayer. Oh, we got the casket. Uh, our first hard castle. So what do we want from this? We want Bless Dehyde, because they're nerfing Black Dehyde. And we also don't even have 84 crafting for Black Dehyde. And then Pages, I guess? Hey, Black Dehyde chaps. Uh, I can Alk one of those. And some good Alks. That's like 50k in Alks. Pretty good first hard clue. 50 Angu in the Stronghold of Security. God, that's such a good Conar task. That's going to be so quick. I'm probably going to have to do one more Conar task after this. We get up to 120 tasks total to get to uh, 58 Slayer because we got like 22k experience to go. So that's 168 Greater Demons. And I think that's going to be enough to get us to 58 Slayer. Yeah, pretty much exactly. It's going to give us like 14.5k and we have 14k XP to go. So this is our last task before 58. Wow. Um, one thing we are going to do first though is I noticed that when we got our... Um, crystal key and we opened the crystal chest in Taverly, we were able to complete the medium Falador diary and we have all the requirements. The only thing we need to do is uh, the Mogur kill and the rat catchers quest. But the rest of it is just racking off all these tasks. At this point, we've completed every single task except for visiting the Port Serum rat pits. And you need to be about like 75% away through the rat catchers quest. And if we look at the age of our kitten right now, uh, it's not going to become an adult for another two hours-ish. And doing the quest with a kitten is absolute hell. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the Greater Demon Slayer task, get up to 58. And once it turns into a cat, we'll go finish off this diary before the end of the episode. And there is 58 Slayer. Uh, we can now kill Cave Warriors, and as you can see by their face... Uh, we can now get the Black Mask from them, which is a very, very important drop for Slayer because it gives a massive damage and accuracy bu buff. We still have five Greater Demons, so I'm just going to knock him out right now, and then we'll uh, get to doing the Rat Catcher's quest because our uh, Hell Kitten is about five minutes away from turning into a regular Hell Cat. So in order to start Rat Catchers, we had to do Iclaren's Little Helper. It wasn't too bad. Quest Helper was a massive carry on that quest. So it turns out to actually feed your cat, you have to use it on the hole in the wall and not actually the uh, kitten itself. So I lost my cat. So we're three quarters of the way through the quest, which means we have gone to the Port Serum Rat Pits and we're now done the Medium Falador Diary. Uh, but might as well finish this quest, even though it's an absolutely terrible quest and I wish it didn't exist. And rat catchers are done. 4,500 useless thieving experience. We did get two quest points though, which will help out with Tears of Guthics. And now we have the Falador Medium Diary complete. 
The medium diary itself doesn't give us that many relevant rewards. Really, the, the best one is the motherload mine shortcut, uh, but that doesn't apply to us because we have 72 mining and we can just mine on the upper floor, which doesn't need the shortcut. Uh, but the next best part is the 10,000 XP lamp, which is going to go right into prayer. Oh, it's 7,500. Sorry. But still, that's 7,500 prayer experience I don't need to get with Dragon Bones, so I'll take it. Let's grind out this black mask. So this is going to be our cave horror setup for now. Uh, I'm not sure how it'll change in the future, uh, but they use a magical melee attack. So what matters is our magical defense. So with all, everything equipped here, we have plus 43. I'll pick up these nature runes. So we have plus 43 uh, because we're wearing green dehyde. It's the best dehyde we can get at this point. But what we're going for here is the Black Mask, which has a 1 in 5, 12 drop. In terms of ancillary items, apart from uh, Alcables, we're going to be going after these T-Clogs and also the insold Cave Horror Heads. It's a 1 in 30 drop, so relatively common. And each one gives 800 prayer experience. We've been lucky on pretty much every single item I've gone for so far. So let's not make this the point at which I uh, start going dry, let's call it. And this is going to be the end of our first trip. We got 75 kills uh, with an inventory of Karam 1. So I think that's pretty pretty reasonable. The herb seeds are so much better than I expected. Um, very good. So I actually don't mind going dry here. There's a bank and mostly harmless. So we can just quickly run back to the bank and back in there and it'll be a quick return and like five or six trips to get the drop rate of the black mask 82 strength cave horrors are actually like pretty good xp i don't know what rate i'm getting but cave horrors are pretty good experience like they have very low defense i can get some good hits on them getting spoon fed on this account that was kc285 so basically half drop rate the luck continues i'm gonna put the total loot we got on screen most notably is the herb seeds, like, we got 11 toad plaque seeds. It's just, every seed we get is more herb lore experience, and herb lore is probably going to end up being one of my lowest skills. But let's go turn this into a Slayer Helm. To make the Slayer Helm on old school, you just need to purchase the reward shop. There's no quest associated with it, like on RS3. So you can just go ahead and purchase Malevolent Masquerade. That cost us 400 of our points, but that's why we did uh, all of that, uh, we'll call it grinding earlier with all these Turial tasks. But we can buy the rest of the items from Turial Shop. And if we use one of the items on the Black Mask, it'll combine it all together, and now it's a Slayer Helm. As you can see, target specific, we get... When, when looking at the equipment menu, you can see the target specific, you get a 15% boost to damage and accuracy when using melee. And eventually we are able to imbue that so that the boost applies to range and mage as well. But that's for another day. This is going to be the end of the episode. We got a lot done. We got a lot done this episode. We started off with 61 range. Started our Slayer grind up to 58. Killing the Cave Horror for the Hard Mauritania Diary to start that process going. Also finished up the Falador Medium Diary. Uh, got a nice little XP lamp into prayer, and got our Slayer Helmet. Next episode, we're going to be continuing on our process of getting those hard Mauritania diaries done, but we got a lot of uh, skill grinds out of the way, so it's going to be a fun one. I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like down on the video, comment down below, and have a good day, and I'll catch you in the next one.